found the coolest Pokemon card vending machine in this Japan airport. So we were just in Japan for two weeks filming a huge Pokemon card video. Not this one, but a future one. And when we went to the Haneda airport in Japan to fly back home, we discovered this actual Pokemon card vending machine made by the Pokemon Company International. So this Pokemon card vending machine is 100% official and it's literally just sitting right here in the middle of the airport. You'd literally walk right past it if you weren't paying attention. It's all touch screen and there's many different Pokemon sets on there you could choose from. So I had to go with the set Crimson Haze. It's the newest Pokemon cards currently out in Japan. And inside of this set is a special illustration Greninja which I'm telling you looks way better than any special illustration Charizard. Yes I know that's probably going to upset some people but I'm sticking to my word. It was currently only taking cash, but luckily we did have some yen left on us. And every time you make your selection, you get two booster packs. So we did it not once, not twice, but a total of three times. Now, if I pull that special illustration Greninja, I am giving it away to one lucky subscriber. But check this out. Right beside the Pokemon card vending machine was literally a Pokemon Center vending machine. This one, obviously 100% official as well. Now, the awesome thing about this Pokemon vending machine is that you can actually get exclusive items available only at the Haneda airport in Japan. And we ended up getting all of the exclusive items from it. I mean, can you blame me? So we packed up all our items to head back home and open up the booster packs and then I got my attention caught by another shop that had Pokemon items in it. Now this was not like an official Pokemon Center or anything, but I noticed the Pokemon items and I had to go in and look around and it was a bunch of items that I've seen throughout Japan on my trip. But obviously I had to look again. A bunch of different plushes. You can see they even put a little hat on there for Captain Pikachu. Notebooks, pins, markers. This shop actually actually had a lot more Pokemon items than I was even expecting, including these two Pokemon plushes that were like crazy expensive. No, I did not buy them, but they were sparkly and adorable. Okay, now it's time to head home before we literally miss our flight. And now we are officially back home from Japan, starting off with a Pokemon card opening to see what we get because here is a real thing that I have to tell you about. We got, oh, Kaboo Tops for the rare. The real thing I'm telling you about, you've all heard of jet lag, energy, but Pokemon pack opening jet lag is also a real thing. It's when you haven't opened up a bunch of Pokemon cards in a while. Obviously, when you switch time zones and you were opening up packs in one time zone and now you're opening them up in another time zone, you start to get all messed up. You're opening up the packs. Then you're opening up. Pokemon pack opening jet lag is a real thing and don't tell me differently in the comments. What is up my breaking family sending some positive vibes in your direction and yes we are going to open up our packs of Pokemon cards that we got at the Pokemon vending machine while we were in Japan and if if we pull the special illustration Greninja from one of these six booster packs, I'm giving it away to one of you. So hit that subscribe button, become part of the Breaking Family, hit the like button, and then down in the comment section, tell me your favorite item that you're about to see in today's Pokemon opening. And then if we pull the special illustration Greninja, it's going to one of you. I'm not keeping it. I'd like to keep it but I'd rather give it to one of you. Now there is a bunch of items sitting here on the table as well as a bunch of Pokemon Center shopping bags. And I'm gonna show you some of the things that we got while in Japan, but first, we got to get over this Pokemon pack opening jet lag with another Temporal Forces booster pack opening right here. Well, not another one. We had a 151 first, but another Pokemon opening. We got Litten going into a Shroomish Lickitung going to a Charge of Bug. All right, here we go. Let's see a card that we need for the Pokemon card library. And all right, Relicanth, we do not need a Relicanth energy. Put it in the filing cabinet. Let's set one more Temporal Forces. One more Temporal Forces. We got some more packs to open up. And then I'll show you some of the things that we got here. We'll open up these right here. Crimson Haze, very, very last. The newest set released in Japan. The cards from this set are not released in English just quite yet. So a little bit of a sneak peek type of situation. We got ourselves an Electivire, Meltan, and an Iron Valiant. See what I'm talking about here, Marie? You see what I'm talking about? Because I, I didn't get any pulls in those last three packs, so it's the Pokemon pack opening jet lag that's affecting me. Oh, okay. It's a real thing. Sure. Google it. Type in real breaking Nate. 
Pokemon pack opening jet lag. I guarantee it. There's a definition out there somewhere. No. Now, you're probably thinking, why is there non-Pokemon items here on the table? Well, we got caught up at the Kirby Cafe right here. And that is where you can get all these beautiful sweet treats. And inside of one of these cups was a sweet treat. But Marie, you did eat it. I did, yes. But you got this little cute cup. I did. And it, ha it, came, that. it came with tiramisu. And it was really good. It did. And it says... Pink makes you twinkle right there. I had to get it because of the cup. The cup but then is also this like little mason jar thing that was filled with some sort of pink pudding type stuff. And it has Kirby's face on it. I couldn't pass it up, right? Like I'm not the biggest Kirby fan in the world, right, but, but it was cute. It's adorable, right? So we got those items. We also went to the Nintendo store in Kyoto and I got this shirt right here. It just simply says Nintendo Kyoto. I like little simple keepsakes like that. I'm gonna wear it though. Also, uh, yes, I'm the person that keeps the bag in the box that the stuff comes in. It's unfortunate. No, 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 I'm telling you, everyone's agreeing with me on this one, Marie. No, that, you keep the bag, you keep the box. Absolutely not. No, okay, all right. Are you on Marie's side or are you on Team Real Breaking That Nate's is side? such a space waster. Nope, that is not wasting any space. This is versatile, it can go anywhere. It's right not there. going, no, it's not staying on the floor. Here, hold it for a second. It can go there. It will not. Uh, I won this lick of tongue out of the uh, claw machine. I don't Marie, want to talk what about one it. did you win? Shut up. I didn't win That's anything. What I, thought. I did pick up these sleeves at Card Secret. Marie, you did find these right here. And uh, these are out. actually from the Pokemon Center uh, at a different Pokemon Center that we couldn't go to, but they do have Psyduck on them right there. So had to get those, right? Couldn't but, pass them up. But what? I love the Oracorio. Where? I don't see it anywhere. Oh, you just covered it here. Let me... Don't see it anywhere. <laughs> don't see it anywhere at all. Isn't he cute? Adorable. Oh, I forgot these too. Little... How could you forget those? Well, we, we got them because we have to put them in the kitchen, right? Yes. The little chef hat. It's adorable. It's adorable, okay? I know. Okay, I know. had to get them. Also got these little penny press things. Every Pokemon Center uh, has a different one, a different design. So had to pick those up. We got someone where we were in Japan last year. So had to continue that tradition. Of course. Now we have some other videos up on the channel from our trip to Japan. And in those videos, I opened up these right here. And you can see that they're actually the outfits of some Pokemon trainers. I won't reveal in this video what they were. You'll watch the other videos if you want to see what ones that we got. There's Marnie, there's Penny, Iono. The possibilities are endless. Well, one to six, uh, nine. Nine is the possibility. Oh, okay. It's so not endless. Nine is endless, but you know, anyways, next item. I got this box right here. It's already open, but the box is cool. Where's the other box? So we got the box. Where is that other box? And I got this box. That box is cool too. Oh my gosh. Right? There's literally nothing in this box. Right, there's something in this that box. This box has something. That box has everything this in it. This box makes sense. Had everything in it, it was just open. So right. I thought, why not, right? And then this box is... Completely empty. It's a box. It's a box. But it's a cool box. Also, I picked up the uh, Indonesia Journey Pikachu plush. Now, this is not for sale in Japan. However, I did buy it at a card shop called Card Secret. Uh, so- It's a secret. Oh, yeah, my, shh. I bought it at Card Secret. I had to have it for the Pikachu plush collection right over there. Shh. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. This stuff is all from the Pokemon Center vending machine at the airport. We'll get to that here in just a minute. I bought this at a Pokemon Center. It is a book of the exhibit that is currently in Japan. I will show you a few pictures from it. This is uh, from the items that are made from a bunch of different materials into looking like Pokemon. And it's an actual exhibit that you can go to. It's currently in Japan. It was actually in LA for a while as well. It might still be, but I haven't seen the exhibit, but I definitely wanted the book from it. And it was for sale at the Kyoto Pokemon Center. So I definitely wanted to pick this one up. We found this little binder from all the way back in the day, vintage Pokemon goodness. Had to get that. Look at that. It was only 500 yen. About a thousand yen is six dollars and sixty cents. 
So you do the math. Okay, now I had to get this. It's a jumbo card. This jumbo was never released in the US, but it is Tomokazu artwork. And so it will go with my Tomokazu collection. However, it is Oricorio. So that upsets me just a little bit. This is also a pin from the Pokemon Championships Europe 2019. Only 780 yen with Venusaur on it. Randomly found that in a card shop as well. And I was like, that's a good price. I'm gonna yeah. get that. Also, I got the little Magikarp Tapanyaki thing mm -hmm. with the custard in it. I ate that, but I kept the wrapper. Oh my gosh. No, it's perfectly fine. Uh, it's, Super Duper it's, Danny was laughing at me and was like, you're not actually gonna keep that, right? It's dirty. I'm like, no. One, there's just some crumbs in it, all right? But it's not dirty. Oh my gosh, you kept trash. This is a collectible. It's trash. I'm telling you, it's a collectible. Breaking family, tell me you're on my side with this, this one. This is ridiculous. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness. Tell me you're on my side. Also from that Pokemon Center vending machine are exclusive items. And we actually ended up getting all the exclusive items. We got the stickers right here. There is three different stickers. And they come in, look at these adorable bags right here. No, I love those. Right? And you keep these, right? No. Yeah. You want to say yeah, but then you're like, oh, I can't justify saying no to all the other stuff. Oh, here, okay, I can make it. You can keep one. <laughs> Listen to me. You also got this yeah. right here. Mm -hmm. This little mini one. I love that. And it says the actual airport abbreviation right there, Haneda. And uh, I got the little mini one because I got the mini one last year. Boom. Look so at now them. they go together. A pair. Look at that. It's now complete. Adorable. How adorable. But we also... Got the jumbo ones too. Of course we did. Now last year when we went to Japan, they actually did not have the jumbo ones. So I was super excited to see that they had them this time around. At least I'm pretty sure they didn't have them last year. It was sold out. Yeah, it was sold out. So we got the jumbo ones as well. So those are gonna go up on the shelf somewhere. And we also got the luggage tag. And those were all the exclusive items from that vending machine. Now at one of the Pokemon centers, we ended up getting this Pokemon concierge file folder right here because it has Psyduck on it. So you can't pass that up right there. Little Psyduck, that's a Pikachu. They gave us some stickers for free. We love stickers. For free. Free's kind of my middle name. Yeah, I noticed. Break it free. Then all three of the Pokemon concierge pins that they had. Now these actually do not have Psyduck on them, but they're beautiful pins, and they're kind of related to Psyduck in a way, right? Because Psyduck's right. the star of the show. So, three beautiful pins. We went to the Pokemon Center at the Tokyo train station. It's a very small one, but we ended up getting the little conductor that says Tokyo Station right there. How adorable. You can only get it there. It's adorable, right? You cannot not get one of those. That's true. And you cannot get the little one. You cannot not get the little one. Right, that goes with it. Adorable. We went to another Pokemon Center, but everything inside of this bag we revealed in a different video from Japan. So that was uploaded a few days ago if you want to check that out. An entire Quaxley campaign line started at Pokemon Centers while we were there. Yes, an entire Quaxley campaign line. Every item is about Quaxley. <laughs> it's actually really cute. And we did a separate video on that on opening day where we waited in line to get into the Pokemon Center to be one of the first people to buy this merch. We documented the entire thing and I'll show you one of the items. You have to go check out that video to see the rest of them. But, Emo Quaxley plush. Look at him. How could you not want that one? That's adorable. I love that one. Also, these two Pikachu plush are exclusive to Pokemon Centers in Kyoto. So ended up getting this. It is the male and the female version. They didn't have these last year when we went to Japan. So I was super excited to see that they actually had them in stock. And we actually got this like right before they sold out. This one, this one was still in stock. Pokemon Concierge notebook. You're welcome. I found that. It's got Psyduck on it. I know. And it's a notebook. So you have to have it. That should be in my collection, not yours. But it has Psyduck on it. But it has Psyduck on it. And fur it. Aww. And this. Oh, yeah. This Mr. Rogers style cardigan that looks like... And a Zoomerill. There's a little berry right there. Thoughts? Adorable. Good purchase, right? Very good purchase. I know, I had to have this one. So if you see me at the Pokemon Regionals in Indianapolis, I might be rocking this one. All right, let's get to opening up some Pokemon packs so we can see if somebody is going to get that special illustration Greninja, which I'm telling you, I think it looks better than any special illustration Charizard. I think it does. I honestly can That's say that with claim. confidence. I know some people are gonna be upset about that, but I think it's 100% true. Now, the reason that we were in Japan is we were actually filming a really big video that you'll probably see in a month, two months. It's, it's a really big video. It's a huge challenge that we were uh, taking under our wing. 
and um, it turned out pretty good. Turned out pretty good, but that was the big reason why uh, we were there, and we wanted to go back to see Japan, but while I was there, I also filmed some of those other smaller videos, so you can kind of see some other stuff while we were there, but we were there for that very specific reason of the very big video. Do you see this Pokemon pack opening jet lag I'm telling you about here? Yeah. It's a real thing. You're it's not a, getting anything. It's literally a real thing, all right? So what, what does it mean? You just don't get anything good? It, well, you know, yeah, yeah. That's that's what it is. That's uh, kind of what it is. But that's like bird. normal. No, uh, hey, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm just saying. That's That wasn't cool at all. That, was, that, but, that, was bit, but, that hurt my feelings. But was I wrong? I want to discuss that. We got to open oh. up some Paldean oh. Fates right oh. here. Oh. Let's oh. open up some Paldean oh. Fates. Okay. Let's see if we can get past that Pokemon jet lag before we get into the Crimson Haze opening. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Shiny Mankey. That's what I'm talking about. All right. We got All the right. shiny goodness. And, okay, not bad, not bad. We still got the shiny right there. So see, right, right. you can see it starting to kind of like come around now. It's starting to get like, a little bit better. I feel like I should be worried because then that means you've had this uh, Pokemon card jet lag for years. No, 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 no. I don't no. know. No, it that was, doesn't it sound was, good. It was, no, I, I didn't have a problem because, opening um, up packs beforehand but, and getting yeah, good pulls. Mm. Now this one right here, uh -huh. we got Cosmic Eclipse inside of it. We got some Cosmic Eclipse, That's and exciting. I thought I thought we should open up some Cosmic Eclipse right now, okay. right? Get around this uh, Pokemon pack opening jet lag so we can actually pull the special illustration Greninja so that we can give it away to one of you. We got the Twin Energy and an Arcanine, which, you know, kind of growl is a little bit. Not as cool as Psyduck, no. but it's still, it's still a Pokemon, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. We got Vivid Voltage up next. Now, if there's a Rainbow Rare Pikachu inside of here, I'm saying we're past the jet lag okay. at this point. Okay. We got a Cottony going into a Pick a Pick. Fly away, bird. Fly away. Came back. And a Quagsire for the rare in that one. Cosmic Eclipse is next, okay? All right. Cosmic Eclipse, and then after that, we got Crimson Haze. Crimson Haze. We got the Crimson Haze, okay? All right. We got ourselves a Togedemaru Trapinch going into a Flebebe. Tangula with the Kanto vibes. Woo! Mimic you. That's technically a secret rare Pokemon Very card. Very cool. I think the jet lag is going away a little bit. Yeah. I think it's going away a little bit. Oh, oh, it is really going away. Oh my goodness. We got a Solgaleo and a Lunala rainbow rare goodness. Marie. Yeah. I think it's gone away. I think it's gone away. Okay. I think we're going to see that Greninja. Oh my goodness, look at that. I could not believe that right there. We got a Jolteon as well, and all while the mall while, literally from the exact same pack right there. How wild is that? Pretty cool. How wild is that? I got my sleeves right over here, but I want to go into these Crimson Haze packs. We got six of them right here from the Pokemon card vending machine. Let's see if that special illustration Greninja is inside of it. I mean, we just got that rainbow rare. I think the Pokemon jet lag is over. Now we're not guaranteed, not guaranteed a hollow rare inside of these or an ultra rare. Or a rare. Or a rare. <laughs> That's true. That's very true as well. I just want to point that out. Pack number two. Here we go. You think the airport has good luck? No. No? Okay. All right. Well, that's not the answer I wanted. We got a Leafeon. Aww. Now remember, most of the cards you see from Crimson Haze should be part of Twilight Masquerade that we see released next in English. So it is a little bit of a sneak preview, sneak peek early opening type of situation here. Oh, there we go. Hollow Rare goodness. We'll take it. We'll take it. Oh, and a Diplin. We love Diplins. I mean, Ting Lu looking pretty menacing right now. I mean, yeah. that's that's pretty scary artwork, right? Yeah. No Ultra Rare just yet. Mm-hmm. Just yet, we're saving the best for last. Okay. Saving the best for last. Right. Here we go. We Oh, I think we got something. Do you see it? Yep. We got something. Pinsir going into a Mag Cargo EX. What's that one? Oh, it's a Switch. switch yeah. <laughs> Mag Cargo EX, double rare, ultra rare. Goodness right there. Woo, okay. Two packs left. Two packs left, Breaking getting Family. Getting slightly better each time. Yes, it gets, it's getting better. That's what I'm saying. A roller, a roller coaster, coaster situation. Yeah, yep. roller yep. coaster situation. <clears throat> we'll do the uh, we'll do the card trick on these last two. Okay. All right, we got a Tangros going into. All right, Aria Dos. That's fine. That's fine. Greninja in this one. Okay. Greninja in this one. Here we go. I think you're. Uh, I think you're. 
My jet lag? No, not your jet lag. Your roller coaster is broken. No, 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 it's not. It's not. It's, it's right before it falls down. This is... I think it uh, fell uh, down uh, with that Arito. Okay, like worried that. For Here we go. We got a nine tails. And... Oh, Evie. We love Evie. And a breaking family. We are ending on. Can I get a drum roll, please? All the way upstairs. Thank you. Closer than Japan. So. Closer than, it was a, that was a long that one was, in Japan. yeah, yeah. Oh. And breaking family, we are ending on. Oh, my box. Not the box. <laughs> oh, Camarant, you ruined the party. Breaking family, that's it for today's Pokemon opening. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Check out the rest of the videos right over there. We'll see you all in the next video. And don't forget, we love every single one of you. All around the world, do it with us now. Peace, love, and high five.